Excellencies, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of UNESCO, I'm very pleased to have this opportunity to congratulate the Korea Foundation on organizing the fourth Public Diplomacy Week despite the challenges of COVID-19. I understand that this year's Public Diplomacy Week is very special, marking the 30th anniversary of the Korea Foundation. I'd like to extend my most heartfelt congratulations to the Korea Foundation. Many have benefited from Korea Foundation's programs, including myself. The core mandate of the United Nations is preventive diplomacy, preventing disputes and conflicts between and among countries. Public diplomacy is one of the key pillars that supports this work. Particularly in this age of geopolitical tension, deteriorating social fabric, and unprecedented socioeconomic challenges, the role of public diplomacy in promoting peace and sustainable development is ever increasing. While COVID-19 has in many ways made it difficult to engage in traditional forms of cultural exchanges or, or any public diplomacy involved in travel, the United Nations and member countries are developing innovative and exciting ways of expanding public diplomacy and outreach using, for example, metaverse platforms for virtual tools and engagement. At the United Nations ESCAP East in Northeast Asia, we are working with six member countries, China, DPRK, Japan, Mongolia, Republic of Korea, and Russian Federation, and two associate members, Hong Kong and Macau, to strengthen regional cooperation and integration for the achievement of sustainable development. In carrying out our programs, we often find that mutual trust and buy-in from the general public are key drivers for making progress in multilateral cooperation. Particularly in Northeast Asia, where we share so many commonalities, but also many differences, including language, culture, economic and political systems, public diplomacy is a powerful tool for bridging these differences and building trust. Once again, congrat congratulations to the Korea Foundation on 30 years of excellent work on promoting public diplomacy. As Korea's soft power in the world is rapidly increasing, as shown by the global popularity of K-pop, Korean food, and other forms of entertainment, I believe the Korea Foundation is well positioned to harness Korea's public diplomacy to new heights. Coincidentally, this year is also the 30th anniversary of Korea joining the United Nations. So in closing, I would like to mention that the United Nations in Korea, together with the Minister of Foreign Affairs and the United Nations Association of Korea, will be, will be holding an event on October 22nd in Seoul to celebrate this milestone occasion and would like to extend our invitation to you to join us on this day. Thank you.